to protect newborns from early onset neonatal infections, measures start before birth. These include vaccinating expectant mothers, screening and treating any infections during pregnancy, and ensuring comprehensive prenatal care. In cases where there is a high risk of infection, administering antibiotics to the mother can significantly reduce the chances of transmission to the baby. These strategies are crucial for safeguarding the health of both mother and child. In labor, antibiotics are crucial for certain conditions to protect both mother and baby. These include preterm labor, GBS colonization or infection, and chorioamnionitis diagnosis. A negative GBS test between 35 and 37 weeks reduces antibiotic need. This approach, part of a broader strategy to prevent neonatal infections, ensures a safer delivery process. Understanding when antibiotics are recommended helps in preparing for a healthy birth outcome. Choosing the right antibiotic during childbirth is crucial for preventing neonatal infections. For women without chorioamnionitis and no penicillin allergy, benzyl penicillin is preferred. In the presence of chorioamnionitis, add gentamicin and metronidazole. For those allergic to penicillin, cephalosporins like cefataxime are recommended, with extra precautions. In cases of chorioamnionitis with penicillin allergy, combine cephalosporin with metronidazole. This guide ensures the safety of both mother and baby by tailoring antibiotic use to specific needs. In managing severe penicillin allergies during childbirth, the approach varies. For those without chorioamnionitis, vancomycin or another suitable antibiotic is used, targeting group B streptococcus based on local data or sensitivity test. When chorioamnionitis is present, the regimen is more comprehensive vancomycin, gentamicin, and metronidazole, or an equivalent alternative, ensuring broad coverage. This tailored approach ensures the safety of both mother and child, adapting to specific health scenarios and antibiotic sensitivities. When labor begins or an infection is suspected, initiating antibiotic treatment promptly is crucial. For gentamicin, a once-daily dose is recommended, simplifying administration while effectively managing infection risks. Monitoring drug levels, especially for medications like gentamicin or vancomycin, ensures safety and efficacy, tailoring treatment to the mother's and baby's needs. This approach minimizes complications, supporting a healthier delivery process. In cases where women between 34 and 37 weeks gestation experience prolonged per labor rupture of membranes and are colonized with group B streptococcus, immediate birth is crucial. This can be through induction of labor or cesarean birth, depending on individual health assessments and preferences. This strategy is aimed at minimizing infection risks for both mother and baby, ensuring a safer birth process. Understanding and implementing these guidelines are key steps in protecting the health of both mother and newborn.